Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the inventory transfer request function of Bayes Manufacturing 2022.04. The new function has been added to material resource planning, and now we're going to check two different scenarios. Industries that have centralized purchasing to supply all their warehouses can use these new MRP scenarios so that these warehouses could create transfer requests instead of purchase orders indicating the replenishment warehouse in the MRP. And then this replenishment warehouse could create a scenario that focuses on the transfer request to the rest of the warehouses. In our first user story, we have a company that has several production plants in various locations. We have operators working in each, all running MRP in each local warehouse to see what requirements they need to produce a specific item. The operators have one requirement for the same component. They're not purchasing from any supplier at this point. All three operators send a requirement for this component to the replenishment warehouse. Let's see this in the system. Let's say that we are an operator in factory number one. Here, we are reviewing the requirements for one component in this factory, which is 10 units. Based on our user case story, we're going to do the inventory transfer request in manual MRP mode for these 10 units. The system verifies that it has been created. Then another operator in factory number two of this company has different requirements for the same component to produce. The operator does an inventory transfer request for this, which it decides to perform in MRP massive mode. By using the create request button, the corresponding action is taken and the inventory transfer request document is created. In our second user story, the replenishment warehouse needs to run its own MRP to check that it has enough units in stock based on the requirements of the single production sites. If not, the warehouse operator creates a purchase order to buy this component from a supplier. Let's see this in the system. Here we are an operator in the replenishment warehouse of a production company. We have two different requirements for this component coming from two different production sites. One came from factory number one, and another came from factory number two. To cover the requirements, we can create a purchase order from the replenishment warehouse. As the purchase order is created, we can see that the complete balance in the replenishment warehouse now is zero. Please note that for this new functionality, we have rearranged the buttons of the MRP order recommendation window. The previous purchase request and production request buttons have been merged into the new create request button in massive mode to generate documents for each line with one click according to what was defined in the configuration wizard. We have also added a transfer request button in the newly introduced transfer tab where you can create the inventory transfer request to a replenishment warehouse directly from MRP. We hope you found this short introductory video useful. For further information, please visit our Bears Online Help. Thank you very much for your attention.